Hey guys, welcome back to the Tree of Wisdom and Wix. <laughs> so now it's uh, in Azuma's turn. Uh, yeah, it's dirty as well. I couldn't couldn't be bothered cleaning it. It's had um, ACF fifty obviously applied to it uh, around like Octoberish. So I'm just gonna probably clean it when when it's springtime or something. So to talk about the mods now. Um, this bike, it has a f it has less mods than the FZ1, but it's more I don't know practical orientated. I, I didn't want to um, spend too much on it because uh, essentially it's a simple commuter. So you could see um, at the front here I've got fork fork guards, which you cable tie around the forks. Uh, the rear shock actually has an RNG um, shock cover. Uh, it's like a sleeve thing which stops rain and stuff getting caught in. It's really good. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting that if you ride in all weathers. Um, what other things? So, from from the factory official parts, I've got the engine bars and uh, the centre stand. Um, also the rear rack. So these three were like from the shop when I bought the bike. It was pre-reg but um, new. It was 9 miles on the clock I think. A really good deal, same price as a, a 125, uh, so it was yeah, definitely worth it. Um, everything's very easy to access as well, like the coils are right here, uh, right on the side of the cylinder, so you can just change spark plugs or do whatever really easily. But the intervals are very short. <coughs> Other things I've got, so I've got the camera system again on this, one mounted here, and um, one mounted to the rear over there, <coughs> just uh, yeah, just there. So uh, it's pretty, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Don't have to worry about battery life or anything like that. Just start the bike up, and uh, you'd see the the flashing light over here, and it will start working again. So another change I did to the bike recently, I got Oxford heated grips on. I had uh, Case Chicane heated grips, which were really good because um, I'll put, I'll attach a picture. They didn't require a control box uh, for the settings. This made it much more cleaner and, and it just looked nicer. But the problem with those is the throttle side uh, stopped working after about two years, I think. Uh, maybe three years. So uh, they're really easy to replace those ones though, because it's just an uh, Allen key and the throttle tube is a part of the throttle grip. So you just get cans with it which match up so if I wanted to replace it with the same ones it would have been really easy but I thought the Oxford ones seemed better for the price uh, I, di I directly connected these to the battery as well and the smart thing works uh, what was I was going to say because I could I actually have the camera running on the power hub again from Inov I could connect it to that but um, if I don't I get a spare connection on, on the hub so I might as well just leave it uh, what else is there? I've got the chain oiler, obviously. See, that works fine. That one has a dual field feed nozzle on it. Uh, you can see it down there with that custom mounting. Or it's not custom mount. It's the more sturdy mount for square swing arms. So it works fine. Uh, let's see. So I guess I'll show you under the bike, at least. So you can see the wires and crap inside. Okay, here's a, obviously, what do you call it, battery tender. <coughs> I have a Krieger ba bag and mounts as well and stuff. So here's the camera DVR again. That's the Innov Power Hub relay. And uh, yeah, you can see all the wires. This is um, for heated gloves as well. You can just pop it out and put it through the side. And yeah, here are the Krieger straps. Oh, you can see the RNG um, shock cover thing here. <coughs> so, what else? I have a tank, uh, or a Krieger tank pad things here as well. Velcros. So, let me think. I don't think there's anything else, really. I obviously have a Puig screen as well, which I added recently. Um, this bike actually handles a motorway fairly well for a 250 
I thought it would struggle, but um, I will attach a clip of how it runs. It's fairly high in the RPM, maybe around six, seven thousand RPMs, but it's actually pretty comfortable. It's not too vibey. It's fine. It does the job really well. Uh, to be honest, I don't even need my FZ1. This will do everything that I need it to do. Um, and it's very easy to look after. The the valves on it are the sh the old screwy type, so you don't have to bother getting shims and buckets and stuff. You have to adjust them more often though, so that's the downside. This bike also just has 10,000 miles, so it's not really being used that much, I guess. But I use this a lot more than my um, FZ1, it's just more practical. The control of this bike is, um, the handling is really good. Oh, I think that's a second one just gone there. <laughs> Another Inazuma. Yes, the handling on this bike is uh, phenomenal, it's just really easy to ride. Um, the camera stuck on <laughs> yeah so it's so flickable so easy the weight is down low so you can do u-turns and stuff extremely easily and the the lock the steering lock is um very tight as well so there's no it's, it's just a really good city bike okay. you have to wait for the power hub to activate it takes 10 seconds when you turn the ignition on which is, which is a good feature, it allows you to use maximum power to crank the bike up before uh, you well, yeah, start recording and whatever. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, I've got Barkbuster Blizzard uh, installed as well on this. They're really easy to fit and take off, so I just take them off in the spring. Uh, what one thing that it had, one thing that it had was um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the custom levers, the Lextech ones from Lexmoto, they're actually very good quality. They're, they're brilliant. They work fine, and I got those rubber rubber sleeves on them. So this is a quick tip. Um, the rubber sleeves that you slide, you can buy on eBay the silicon ones. They actually stop your fingers from freezing as much as if you had a, a bare li lever. Um, your fingertips really start getting painful. So adding something in front of it actually helps quite a lot. And yeah, it's, it's worth doing, that's for sure. So for problems I've had with this bike, uh, the headlamp. So this is a new headlamp. I had it for about maybe eight months or maybe a year. The original one, which came from factory, started the chrome started flaking and i really regret not getting it warranted i was being too lazy i thought or oh, maybe it's just something else i sealed it once with um sealant silicon sealant and stopped it for about a couple of months the condensation getting in but it, eventually it just failed and started doing it again and i couldn't be bothered so i just bought a new one it was expensive 150 quid so i wasn't that happy about that uh let's see what else is there so this bearing here on the front wheel um, failed as well, it got rusty and started having play, some free play. I, I reckon it's from rain when it's parked up, when the wheel's facing up, this side's facing up. So um, I had to replace that. Uh, when I took the bearing out, you could see it's rusty. These are not fully um, sealed bearings, they're, they're sealed from one side. But the other side is uh, still exposed, but the inside, inner side is exposed, so uh, maybe water got into that. That was at 7,000 miles, so it was kind of annoying as well. Um, let's see what else was there. So there was the exhaust system. It's, you can see here, it's incredibly rusty. It just rusts like crazy. Uh, both sides, obviously. I coated it with Acer 50 million times, that, that's not good enough, obviously it burns off. I should have painted it probably when I bought the bike, but I didn't know about this issue at the time. Um, so the the best thing to do is get a full system. I think Delcovic make one, but uh, it's like 260 quid, I couldn't be bothered at the moment because I just dumped a bunch of money on the FZ1. 
I bought a quick shifter, which was probably a dumb, dumb choice considering I could have got this instead. But um, so the exhaust clamps, I had to take them off uh, recently, and they they snapped. Uh, the exhaust clamp snapped. So I'm just using these little hose pipe clips. They're doing the job fine. There's no exhaust leak because um, exhausts are kind of like seized on to the cat. So what happened is I had to take it off to do some maintenance on the center stand. And they basically snapped, so... Uh, uh, I kind of forgot what my point was. <laughs> uh, but the center stand seized, basically. So when you put it down, it wouldn't go back up. And uh, I had to... You have to remove the exhaust on that on the right side. And to get to the bolt that mounts the center stand. And there was a trick I used. I had a picture for the springs. You um, On the center stand springs, you can use coins to get the stand springs to detention and take it out really easily and, and reinstall it as well. So, um, yeah, so that was another problem, the center stand seizing, and that was kind of annoying. But that happened after, what, four, four years, so it's probably expected. Uh, the last problem was, um, shit, sorry, cancel. So for problems that this bike has, so for problems this bike has, oh, <laughs> sakes. <laughs>